Hello, and welcome back. Hey guys, so today I'm headed to the dermatologist to get a microdermabrasion, which is basically where she's gonna vacuum my face. So um, I get this done like every other month or so um, as a treatment for my acne. I'm gonna show you guys what my skin has been looking like after I take off my makeup. It's not been doing so hot lately because I've been under a lot of stress and sleep is not a thing right now. So um, I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm working with and then show you guys some footage, hopefully, of the microdermabrasion. I'm just gonna wear this comfy, long sleeve, white sweater. It's pretty thin, it's not too cold today. And my necklaces, a comfy little bra, and some green jeans with some holes in them. Super edgy. I'm edgy. Anyways, I'm gonna take off my foundation so that she can really get in there to clean. So now I'm just trying to decide whether I wanna wear my denim jacket or a comfy cardigan since I'm gonna be in the doctor's office for a while laying down. Kinda gets cold in there. I don't know, we'll see. Comment below what you think I'm gonna wear. See, see if you can guess. Let's try it out. Guys, here is option A, denim jacket. Pretty cool. Look at my cool dope camcorder. I'm so professional. Option two is this chunky knit. I'm feeling this one because it's still pretty chilly outside and denim, let's be real, is not warm. So I think this is what I'm gonna wear. Yeah. Okay guys, so I've just taken off my makeup. As you can see, my problem areas tend to be down here. I have one juicy boy up there. So she has a clean base to work with now. She typically puts moisturizer and sunscreen on me afterwards, so I'm not gonna take anything with me because she usually takes care of me pretty well. So yeah, gonna bring you guys along. I wanted to show you guys my cute dog with a bow tie hat. I feel like this is working for me. I kinda feel like I look like I'm going to a winter baseball game or something. Go Red Sox. My kicks. What are those? Let's go to the doctor. Okay guys, I'm vlogging in my car on my phone because I'm a broke bitch and my camera is rented from my college. And it's $1,200. Yes, I know. A $1,200 camcorder, she says? It's true. Um, but my phone is propped up against my little thing. Hopefully, this ends up being a fun ride, you know? Oh, she has peanut butter on her mouth. Almond butter, actually. But, uh, ooh, this is good-ass light. Now I know why they all vlog in the car. Makes sense now. Oh, I like vlogging in the car. Wait, this is, like, fun. I totally get why people do this. Like, it's good light. You're, like, on the way somewhere. Um, driving is boring. So, yeah, however... I think safety first, so I'm gonna put you guys on pause and uh, pay attention to the road. Mwah! <laughs> so I just got my microdermabrasion and I talked with her and I'm gonna Tell you guys some details. I still wear my hat just for a little extra since I'm a little rosy after a little tiny bit. I'm now headed to class. I might stop and grab a little bite to eat. A little taco or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I have enough time. I also have to pee really, really freaking bad. About to show up to class. Fresh ass faced. But you know what? It's okay. It's okay. I'm confident. It's gonna be fine. Oof, I have mm, an eighth of a tank of gas. All right, about to get on the highway, so bye. Hi guys, so today is the day after my microdermabrasion and I just wanted to show you guys sort of how my skin is doing. I just moisturized and put on sunscreen, but as you can see, we've already sort of begun the healing process. It's not perfect but I believe that this really helps. 
I drank a full glass of water before bed and then got some good rest. And I feel like we're already doing pretty good. I've just been having a flare up, so I would say that we're already sort of getting back to a good place because a lot of these are already flat now. Um, and it's all sort of down here, so it tells me it's hormonal. So yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys how it's doing, give you guys a little update, and um, sort of continue doing this. Yeah. I just wanted to show you guys how much better my makeup is sitting already. You can still see the dry bumpiness here. In general, I feel like my skin is already looking so much better. Um, there is a lot of controversy about getting a microdermabrasion done for acne patients. Um, she told me that there are people who think that it can spread the bacteria and stuff, but in reality, everyone has bacteria on their skin. Um, she also said that it really draws everything to the surface the same way a retinol does. So you might flare up at first, but then it sort of cleans everything out and keeps everything coming to the surface. And if you continue to do that, and if I continue to use my retinol, I should be back on track. I really recommend getting this if your acne sort of looks like mine and if you know that stress is a factor. <clears throat> Um, a lot of times my, my skin is just not great at exfoliating itself. I've realized I really have to do that. Um, and that's why drawing things to the surface and getting microderms and using retinols really works for me, I feel like. It's usually $60, which isn't terrible. It's actually way cheaper for me to get it done at my dermatologist's office um, than to go to like a spa or something. Um, and usually a nurse practitioner does it, so it's like a little more legit, but I mean, everyone who's doing it is qualified, they have a license. So, um, but yeah, I, I really recommend it, I love getting it, um, and I feel like it's actually effective. Like, going and getting these, like, you know, let's put gold on your face and all that kind of crap, come on, come on. But if you go to a dermatologist's office, you're gonna get the stuff that actually works, they're gonna give you the creams that actually work, so, um, stick to it. Um, if you're really struggling with your acne, I am here for you. DM me if you want to talk about it. Um, maybe we can have like a one-on-one -on -one conversation about some things that I know work for me. There's my weird makeshift, makeshift lamp. <laughs> Anyways, um, just know that you will pull through. You will come out of it. My acne used to be so much worse when I was younger. Um, it will fade. It will change. It will migrate. It will come back. But we're all here for you. We have a community of acne sufferers, all right? We're in this together, you guys. We are on this journey together. Um, and I, I plan on making a series of videos about my acne and how I've gone through my phases of it and how I've helped it. So yeah, um, be excited for that. Also, I just wanted to share, this is a little hair scarf I have. I'm wearing little snake hoops. And this sweater is actually vintage. Um, my grandma gave it to me. She had had it, you guys, for like 30 years. Like she wore this when she was like in her 40s or 50s, like crazy. So this sweater has been in the family for a long time. I love it. It's such a nice, comfortable, staple sweater. The makeup that I'm wearing is all Honest and Ilya as usual, clean beauty. And ch -ch -ch, my hair is completely undone. I just sprayed a little bit of product in it just to sort of give it like a beachy texture. Um, but yeah, so I'll probably check in again in a couple days, continue to show you guys what's up. I have a feeling that my skin's been gonna be looking a lot better. Uh, there's my turtle. There's my wall if you guys are curious. Maybe I should show you guys. These are all of my cute little decorations. My pillows. That pillow's my favorite because it's cute. Harvest times. Have a good week, guys. I'll see you guys soon on the vlog. Good morning, guys. So today it is the third day after my microderm. As you can see, all these bad boys have flattened down quite a bit. I've also been using my retinol, so we're making some good progress here. That guy's fading and totally flat now. Um, so yeah, we're doing pretty good. This will definitely sit better under makeup. Feeling pretty good. Here you go, boy. You're so good. Oh yeah, good look. Oh, scratch. Oh yeah. Face bump. Good boy. <laughs> All right gonna tame 
this beast. A lot of times I don't really do my hair, but since I'm going out tonight and tomorrow, I feel like it's worth it. I feel like it's worth the effort, so. Okay, you guys, wow. I cannot even remember the last time I straightened my hair. I look like a different human. There's a bra back there. I'm having like major flashbacks to like middle school right now. Um, but I kind of dig it. I just did my everyday makeup. I think this will be a good foundation for later when I add a little bit more makeup for evening. Now, I'm gonna take you guys to do one of my favorite things ever, grocery shop. Are you excited? Because I'm excited. Also, it's day three, and as you can see, my makeup is sitting so much better. I always break out and have the worst skin problems before my period, so usually that's when I try to get treatments done and I go the most ham on health and wellness in general to preemptively strike. Anyways, yes, let's go to Kroger. I'm just wearing a comfy hoodie with some cute drawstrings as a long hood, a pocket. I've had this for like four years now. I'm pretty sure it's free people that I found on sale ages ago. And then my thrifted mom jeans. These are the bomb. They're from a brand called Gloria Vanderbilt. They're always amazing, they always fit. If you're a size six to an eight slash four and you got a booty, I'm telling you Gloria Vanderbilt, they will fit you. I can almost guarantee it. And they always have this cute little swan logo. That's how I find them in the thrift store. <laughs> I'm wearing my squishy boys. I've got my grocery bags, so I am all set to go. I really like the net one for produce. It's very practical. Sure, why not? All right, guys, let's go. Let's not hit any squirrels. Guys, I hit a squirrel about three weeks ago. I was pulling out of a parking lot and the moon was looking real fierce. And I glanced up at it for half a second longer than I would normally. And a squirrel ran out right when I looked back down at the road. And it was just too late. I mean, there was no saving him. Tragic. Actually, this camcorder is way too big to be sitting right here, so we're not gonna do this right now. I will see you guys in Kroger, okay? Okay, um, wow you guys, <laughs> Kroger was so packed. I have never in my life seen it that busy. I don't usually shop at this time of day though. I usually shop later in the day, so <laughs> maybe it's always like this on Fridays, but I don't know. Um, also, my bagger, he did not put any of my produce in that net bag, which kind of cracked me up. Not a big deal, but it made me laugh. But this guy, he looked exactly like this guy from TikTok and I was like freaking out for a second. I wasn't like fangirling, but I was like, yeah, like, uh, do you do TikTok? <laughs> and he was like, no, no. And I was like, you look exactly like this guy from TikTok. And he's like, oh, well, I'm sick of work and maybe I should do TikTok. Anyways, it wasn't him, but I really thought it was for a second. Um, let's go home now. Hello, and welcome back to my humble abode. So I'm just gonna show you guys my groceries cause I like to cook and eat healthy. Also, this is my plant, Photosynthia. She's bae. Let's get started. You wanna come out? Okay. So heavy. Okay, so I'm just gonna take everything out and show you guys and then probably do like a cool time lapse of me putting everything away like a grown ass woman. Green beans for tonight's dinner. My Italian and French blood dictates that I must eat prosciutto and salami at least once a month. Oat milk for frothy teas and only for tea because it has a lot of carbohydrates which is not good for your glycemic index if you are an acne or psoriasis sufferer. So usually I get a different kind of kefir but this one is actually dairy free and um, it's unsweetened. It only has one gram of sugar and 
and four carbs per serving, which is eight fluid ounces. So this is incredible because usually plant-based foods have way more sugar and carbs in them. So I can't always get that kind of stuff. I try to be very conscious about my animal product intake, but usually my only animal products have to do with my probiotic health and my skin and my gut health. I can't go crazy on the plant products and the high carb, high sugar foods. I love baguettes. And actually Kroger's bread, you guys, okay. Put this in my little basket here. I still have to finish my sweet potatoes for my last grocery haul. So whenever I need milk for other recipes and cooking, I just get flax milk. I love this kind, super good. Also very low in sugar. Green onions for tonight's dinner. Avocados. Peppers for snacking, potentially for a meal. Tomatoes for snacking or smoothies. Herb cheese, delicious. Some of my favorite yogurts are these kinds. I also really like Siggy's, but um, I just like to mix it up and try out different things. But again, I really focus on less sugar, less flavoring. Most of the time I don't get flavors like this because they have so much sugar, but this brand does not. So I don't worry about it, but I still usually get plain flavored things like this for smoothies. Cauliflower, because I'm gonna make mashed cauliflower for tonight's dinner. Got some wild caught salmon. Another thing I love about Kroger is they randomly have a lot of sustainable options. So of course, strawberries. These were on sale, great for breakfast and in oatmeal and yogurt. Blackberries also, and raspberries. Um, the main fruits that I eat are typically berries just because they're really high in antioxidants and I feel like they help my skin heal. Um, sometimes I'll get some good Fuji apples because I like them with almond butter. But that's pretty much all the fruit that I eat and I have frozen fruit like mangoes and berries in the freezer for smoothies as well. So I'm not really a big granola bar person, however, if I'm running out the door, I need to have something easy and quick, so I keep one box usually. I'm gonna tilt this up, why am I squatting? Hello. Six grams of sugar for one bar, which is kinda high, um, but compared to most brands, it's very low. And on backpacking trips, I usually am eating Cliff Bars because I need those calories actually, so. So oh, I also like to get my meat and eggs from a permaculture farm, but that's just not always doable because it's like 45 minutes away and it's a little more pricey. So I try to get cage-free, hormone-free, the best that I can do from the grocery store. So these are the eggs I got. Also Kroger's cheap. These were like three something for 18 and at Target, just the regular cage-free 12, that's the same. Basically, um, is like $5. So don't be fooled because they're not actually as great as they're trying to make you think. But do your best. Okay guys, last but not least, I got this cauliflower crust pizza. It's amazing. Let me just, spoiler alert, it's amazing. I don't usually get frozen foods very much. I pretty much cook all of my meals, but uh, this is incredible. I have not tried these before. However, um, they look pretty good. Low in carbs, high in protein. So yeah, I'm, I'm interested. So one thing I really wanted to mention is this Swerve brand. Um, so it's a sugar replacement, but it's not stevia. It comes from like a fungus or something. Sounds super weird. Tastes identical and behaves almost identically to sugar. It melts a little quicker, but whenever I bake, or make desserts, I use this and it's so good, you guys. They also have pre-packaged like cookie mixes, cake mixes and stuff like that. Ooh, I'm probably gonna think that I organize my fridge weirdly, but I like to be able to see everything really clearly so that I don't forget about food and that I actually eat it all. I'm gonna cook now um, and then I'm going out with my friend later just to grab a nice glass of wine. I will show you guys my dinner and probably take you guys along with me tonight. Maybe show you guys what I add to my makeup for this evening. That type of thing. Yeah. Oh, yummy. Guys, also I wanted to show you my apron. Look at how cute. I got it in France when I was visiting my family, so I don't think I can share with you guys where to get it, but it's just super fun and cute and gave me like serious anthro vibes. I'm watching Ancient Aliens. Guilty pleasure. Okay guys, so I'm gonna wear this tiny black sparkly bag. It's from Italy. My mom got it ages ago when we lived there. We've had it for forever. Just some black Steve Madden booties black skinny jeans, high-waisted, 
and then a cardigan as a top. It's like this dark forest green. I've put on a little bit more eyeshadow and eyeliner just to be a little more evening. And I've got these earrings on. These are vintage old, very cool. And then this, I feel like because it's so simple and so dainty, kind of goes. Subtle enough to work. I have mixed mixed feelings about the eyeshadow. I'm probably just gonna vlog on my phone uh, so that we can enjoy ourselves. Oh, it's dark. No, 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 no. I'll see you guys there. Thank you. 